All right, what's going on YouTube? Uh, last video, uh, I was talking about uh, starting a little light cycle from D-Ball. Uh, this is day seven on D-Ball, 10 milligrams a day. Uh, so far, the only thing I've noticed is uh, I'm retaining a little bit more water now, and uh, my weight went up probably a couple pounds, probably like five pounds since last week. Again, that's not five pounds of muscle, that's just five pounds of water weight. Uh, and that's what the D-ball is going to do, you know, you're gonna, it's going to make you retain a lot more water, so uh, Strength, uh, I guess you can't, you, I, you can't say that I've gained like a huge amount of strength in one week, so you know it's, it's only been seven days, so we'll see how I progress through the next three weeks until the test comes in So uh, right now I'm going to do a pretty much an arm wrestling workout and I'm gonna hit triceps at the same time and I'm gonna try to engage my shoulders because uh, my left shoulder is messed up and I can't bench or flat bench or press anything or pretty much like extend anything like out like this or overhead or press anything up like that just because the combination of uh, my elbow hurting and my shoulder all messed up uh, really like you know, causes a lot of pain and ache right in the shoulder. So I'm gonna stick to a forearm workout, arm wrestling workout, and a light push, push down for triceps. See how good of a pump I can get. Maybe I can get a better pump now. You know, seven days on D ball again. Uh, so let's get this workout in. In here so when I push down it's like right in here where it hurts if anybody's ever had this pain put like when I arm wrestle this dude I pressed him down so I really used a lot of force like this and ever since this shit's hurt like crazy you know I could uh, deal with the shoulder pain benching and stuff but this thing, I can't deal with this when I push. Pretty warmed up. I'm gonna do uh, three sets of uh, 10 to 15 reps for this back pressure pull here. So keep going up in weight. So start with 60 pounds. Apparently this pulley system is a one-on-one, so who knows, who knows if that's like legit or not, so, but. This somewhat feels like 60 pounds, you know, like a hammer curl, 60 pounds.
I mean, I, I guess I could tell my arms have been getting better. Before I couldn't even do that, I'd have to go real freaking slow and barely any range of motion. You know, obviously, arm wrestling workouts are real short range of motions, but this one just killed too, but it's feeling better. And then again, my left hand, for some reason, is way, way stronger. So it's kind of pissed my whole left side hurt, you know, but we'll get there. All right, so the next one would just be a uh, Switch to a, a straight bar, single tricep push down. Just because the single ones were really bothering my left tricep here. So, do it again, three sets of uh, 10 to 15 reps. All right, you two. So, before the pump starts getting a little crazy, I'm gonna measure my biceps and uh, see where we're at. I was almost at 18 when I did my last test cycle. I was like 17 and three quarter on my left, and like 17 five eighths on my right. So, obviously, my left I can barely flex, but my right should be able to flex here and then we'll see so you know just uh got centimeters and inches so we'll do inches here so pretty much 17 and a quarter 17 three eighths if I try to flex hard it's my right my left for some reason was uh way bigger I can't really flex it, but because it hurts like my tricep. But so 17 and 3 eighths, somewhat flexed. Oh. Oh. I mean, it might hit 17 and a half, but for some reason, like ever since that injury, I can't flex my bicep here. Like when I flex. Now I'm doing all these arm wrestling workouts, it flexes my forearms. So like, you know, you, you extend out and you flex, right? But for some reason, my left, it just feels like, like I'm tightening right here. So like this thing, it's super hard, but my bicep is like all mushy. But this one I can still flex for the most part. So, Measure my forearms too, cause uh, I'm gonna keep doing arm wrestling workouts. So, so forearms probably right at 14. Left probably right at 14 too. 14 and eighth. You know, rough measurement, give or take an eighth or some shit like that, two eighth, three eighths. So for this one, I'm just gonna grab the single handle here and I'm gonna curl in towards me. So not like a curl, but like uh, I'm wrestling cupping pretty much. So I'm trying to stay a little bit sideways to the table so I can get more of a stretch. Extend my fingers all the way and then just pull in. Damn, hit my left 
It's killing me. Feels like it's, feels like it's already pumped. Like when you can't close close a, a muscle anymore or it's thin. Let's head lower the weight. For the next tricep, I do the close grip uh, tricep push down here. Start with a little light, see what that feels like. Drop the weight from my left hand, even though, it, man, I don't know what the hell's going on. Okay, so next workout for me is going to be a wrist wrench. I'm still trying to get a pump, so I'm just going to do like 10 to 15 reps. Doing these more of a inside curl. Real light. So it's probably a quarter inch, maybe half inch.
headphones are gonna be impossible to flex. Yeah, I can't even flex the bitch. Oh, maybe an eighth of an inch, but I can't really like flex it, I don't know why. Uh just my forearms. See if they see if I gain any. Not too much, still the same. I mean, the left maybe. Oh, 14 and a half. Where my right is. Gotta get right in there. Oh, it's about the same. Maybe I did gain like half an inch. I don't know. Shit kills your forearms. It's called a wrist wrench because you know, you're curling with your wrist, but it doesn't really trigger your wrist. It's triggered your forearm, but it's called a wrist wrench. It also wants to open you up. The purpose of curling in the straps is so that it kind of imitates something opening you up. So when you're in a hook, you know, you want to have that resistance to not be opened up. So, I guess we'll try a light shoulder workout. I just want to be able to bench, you know. I'm starting to get decent pumps again. My right arm looks crazy pumped up to the wrist. Unless that's just a light. I wish I could uh, stick to isolated workouts, you know, like bodybuilding, kind of like what Sam does, but man, I can't. Like everything's like arm wrestling related. Uh, if anybody tries arm wrestling, you'll see it right away. It's either arm wrestling or nothing else. Like, you know, you use your arms for everything, your forearms, biceps, you know. Uh, so when those are sore, dude, you can't bench, you can't do back workouts, you can't even fucking squat because, uh, when you got the bar up here, the tension of that will sit right in your forearm. So now what I've noticed, that's helped me is uh, put the PR elbow sleeves on. Don't forget, use my code to get 15% off. 
but I use those and that shit is a lifesaver. So, and the wrist wraps too. So. All right, so I'm gonna do one more uh, side lateral raises here which for shoulders. Be the end of my workout. So, keep it light. I wanna be able to recover my freaking tendons here in my elbows, so, and my shoulders, so. Keep it lit here.